Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I hope you guys are as excited about today as I am uh, because as you can read by the title I am looking at the channel's new track car. Um, so I recently have been wanting to get into autocross but I, I don't trust myself enough to take the Mercedes. Um, because I don't want to turn that into like a track daily, whatever that would be. Um, so I decided that I'm going to need a different car uh, to take to the track and have a dedicated track build. And uh, most of you who are already subscribed already know that I have another car. And I put it in the carbon, for ca carbon fiber spoiler video that, that I own this car. Um, so, you know what? Without further ado, here's the new track build. Boom. Right here. It's nothing special. It's just a 2002 Grand Prix SE. But it has enough meat left on the bone of her to do a couple of things and make it a track build. Um, so... Obviously, right now, I don't drive this thing. Um, if you guys caught it in the carbon fiber spoiler video, I did have it parked right here behind the shed. And then our neighbors back behind us called the cops, so I had to move it here. And ever since I moved it here, it's just sat here and done nothing. So, I actually have to jump it, which is why I kind of parked crooked last night when I got home from work. Um, so that I could have my jumper cables reach over to her and then once we jump it we're gonna let it run um, just to charge up the battery and while that's going we're actually gonna clean it out but the first thing that we're gonna do to her to get it ready for the track is we're actually going to start with weight reduction and we are going to gut as much as the of the interior as we can so I'm planning back seats door panels maybe passenger seat, carpet, as much carpet as I can, spare tire, anything in the trunk, carpet in the trunk, all that fun stuff. Um, so we're gonna delete as much of that as we can. And then I'm also, in today's video, I'm going to clean the shed so that I have a place to store the interior because I'm not just gonna throw it out or anything. Um, so I'm going to put the interior probably in the back corner of the shed once I clean it out. And that should be everything that I'm doing in today's video. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and uh, let's get started on jumping it and cleaning it. So we've got everything out of the car, well not everything out of the car, but um, we've got it mostly cleaned up and uh, it hasn't really been all that long, but I'm still going to go ahead and see if she'll fire up and uh, if so I'm going to get you guys a real good cold start because uh, it is, it does have a muffler delete but only because the muffler rusted out and I opted to pay <laughs> the muffler shop 7 bucks to weld in a pipe versus uh, 80 or something, 80, 85 for a new muffler. So. It should sound pretty all right. All right, so never mind about that. She is dead dead. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I guess let me just give you a tour of the shed and why it needs cleaned out. So, first of all, we've got a couple of bikes and whatnot. Um, that we're just storing in here. This is all from us. But, here. Like, look at the ground. Just all this crud needs swept. That's also from us here. Um, but, all of this is from the previous owner. They just kind of 
left all this stuff here. Um, so that is why this needs cleaned. Um, I'm, I, I don't know if I'll clean that shelf or not, but, uh, I kind of, I mostly want to clean this corner so that I can keep all my interior pieces from the Grand Prix in here and, uh, not have to worry about them. So I'm going to go ahead. I probably won't time lapse it simply because everything's behind the fridge and I don't feel like moving the fridge. So, um, I'm probably just going to do it off camera, mostly to save battery life too. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just come back to you guys when it is done. Or when I'm ready to start the Grand Prix, actually. That's when I get back to you guys. probably like the fifth time I've tried to start it um, that battery was where are you going that battery was dead but uh now that we actually have the car alive I'm going to go ahead and just let it run and finish up the shed and I guess since I was in there already I can give you an update on how we're looking so we're looking a lot cleaner still a lot of sweeping to be done but uh, we're looking a lot better. I'm thinking of putting the interior in this corner since that's the worst off corner and There's a shelf above it. So you can't use the vertical space above it anyways, but uh Man, why am I out of breath? <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do next. Uh, I think I'm gonna continue on the shed and Then probably get to the interior which will be the fun part of the video. So just hang in there um, We'll get to the fun part eventually Okay, so I just spent the past couple of hours uh, cleaning up the shed, and we are looking good, fellas. Uh, I didn't know that the fridge was on wheels. Um, I didn't use the dolly to move it, but uh, it, the fridge actually is on wheels, so I just scooch, 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 scooch it into the corner, and uh, man, we actually have a shed that we can use now. Um, I didn't get it like 100% swept out, but it's 10 it's a hundred times better than what it was because it's it's usable now so I'll take that over being a hundred percent swept out so oh well where are you guys going so um why is it doing this there so now I just have to finish putting everything back in here and then we're done with the shed uh, I won't show you guys that, what it looks like afterwards, because um, I'm sure you guys don't even really care. Um, and then I will get into the main purpose of today's video, which is working on taking the interior out of this bad boy. So uh, let me go ahead, put all this stuff back in, and then uh, it, I'll probably just cut right to a time lapse of me taking stuff out. So. Uh, Oh, also, uh, I have no idea how to take any of this stuff out. I've never removed any interior pieces, so I'm just going to kind of BS my way to success. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of figure things out as I go. Um, so, yeah, I'll just cut right to the time lapse and let you guys see what's up. Alright guys, so 
Uh, we went and we got some of the interior out. Um, it was pretty painless uh, for not knowing what I was doing. It was pretty, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, I'd say right now we're saving maybe 50 to 75 pounds of weight, which isn't bad. Um, I'm sure you could see from the time lapse I took out, I completely took out the back seats. Uh, the trunk is completely gutted and I realized that I should have moved the camera to get the what I was working on uh, on the back but uh it was right here I got here I'll show you from the inside I got all of this stuff up here out the speakers the third brake light everything from up top here is out and then uh, I know you guys saw this I took all this out so there's the trunk so everything from there on is out and the only thing stopping me from uh, completing taking out everything I wanted to today is simply my lack of tools because the door panels they require a fairly large Torx bit and I only have access to smaller Torx bits so I'm gonna have to go and pick up a set of screwdrivers with Torx bits and also a Phillips head because the ones that we have um, just aren't doing it for these little trim pieces down here uh, all these little screws holding in the plastic trim along the doors are all pretty seized and the bits that we do have don't really fit quite correctly so they keep popping out and I'm afraid I'm gonna, uh, what's it called, mess up the head of the screw. So uh, I'm just gonna head to Walmart probably tomorrow and pick up the proper tools to finish the job. And so this will probably be a two part video because I am going to conclude today's video right here. So uh, I'm sorry it wasn't as much car content as it should have been. It was more or less cleaning the shed today and introducing the build but I mean hey it is all a process um, I need needed to do everything today to get everything that I did get done done so all of it was pretty necessary so um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video keep an eye out for part two and uh, I guess until next time it's peace out